What's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel and watching my video. Today we are making mac and cheese. Everybody knows I'm not a big mac and cheese fan. I've never really liked it. I especially don't like like the box mac and cheese. Eek. However, Mike loves mac and cheese and um, I make him mac and cheese every once in a while. Today is the exception. This mac and cheese is really good. It's really rich. So when you make it, keep that in mind. It's done in a slow cooker. Um, you kind of cook your pasta al dente, put your goodness in there. I mean, goodness like cream cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise. What? It is so good and so rich. You will love it. Please give it a try. Um, tell me what your family thinks. Tell me what you think. Make sure you put your comments down below. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Welcome to our new subscribers. We're trying to grow the channel and um, we, we've got a few new people on board. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the recipe. start out with water that's boiling put a dash of salt in there about a teaspoon or so we're gonna use two cups of uncooked elbow macaroni throw that in and let that start cooking we're gonna cook it a little underdone a little al dente as they say so we're gonna cook that about six or seven minutes all right guys in our crock pot we're gonna actually set it on low into here, we're gonna put one can of cream of mushroom soup. Just dump it in. We are going to put one half a cup of sour cream. One half a cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna put our spices in. Our spices are one teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a teaspoon of dried mustard. Dump that in. Just in case it's not rich enough, we're going to add four ounces of cream cheese that I kind of chopped up. Stir all of that goodness together. Kind of chop up your cream cheese as much as you can. Okay. Chopping up the cream cheese. Now, we're going to put in our, our we've al dente cooked our uh, two cups of elbow macaroni al dente. We're gonna dump that in. Just to make it cheesy, we are going to use we are going to use four cups of medium cheddar. You could use a light cheddar or a stronger cheddar. I think the medium's right where it needs to be. You could probably do combinations of all kinds of cheddars too. Stir all this magic together. Just make sure it's all mixed so you have a little bit of the the soup mix with the cheeses all stirred together. Okay. Kind of scrub down your sides too. If you've ever used the liners for um, crock pots, they work really well. I actually don't have any, so I'm just going to live on the edge and just cook it straight in the crock. All right, in top of the slow cooker goes on. We're going to cook this about three hours on low. You can do it shorter amount of time on high, but I don't want to burn the cheese or anything. So we're going to cook it three hours on low. After that, it's ready. Now, while this is cooking for its three hours in the slow cooker, I will stir it every once in a while just to make sure the cheese mixes up and you want to let that cream cheese melt and combine. All right, our three hours are up. Let's take a look. Uh, nice. 
just to give it a stir. Ugh. So as you can see, it's a little dense. So we're gonna add evaporated milk. I actually only had the fat-free evaporated milk, but that'll work. So we're gonna put a half a cup of evaporated milk in there. Because I want it to loosen up just ever so slightly. And stir that in. Are you ready for that? Yum. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. It's storming in Baton Rouge, so let's give it a taste. All right. Mmm, you can smell the sour cream. That is so good, y'all. It's so creamy and rich, but that sour cream is in there and a little hint of garlic and onion. Yes, indeed. Um, again, I'm not a mac and cheese lover, but that's good stuff. Mike loves it. He's going to love it. Um, you guys give it a try. Tell me what you think. Put your comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and welcome to all of our new subscribers. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you all next week. Be safe out there.